This is the problem about bungee jumping. So here's our bungee jumper and there's the rope and I'm going to make her a little smaller there. And then I'm going to turn her upside down. There she goes. And she's going down. And here's what the problem says. The bungee jumper jumps from rest and screams with a quick frequency of 589 hertz. The air temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. What is the frequency heard by the people on the ground below when she has fallen a distance of 11.0 meter? Assume that the bungee cord has not yet taken effect, so she is in free fall. So obviously that is about the Doppler effect, but it also has to do something with her being in free fall. Okay, so the information that's given is that there is a frequency of 589 hertz. Then she has, f and the air temperature is 20 degrees Celsius, and so T equals 20 degrees Celsius pretty much tells us that the speed of sound at that temperature is, top of my head, 343 meters per second. I better check that out. Okay, now I'm paging to find the, oh, there it is. Okay, yep, 343 meters per second. And let's see, one more piece of information that she has dropped at this point, a distance of negative 11.0 meters, and she is in free fall. And then what they want us to figure out is, was the frequency hurt by the people? So there are people down here. I guess I forgot to draw them in. Okay, and maybe that last person here, I should take a little bit out of the way, right? So there we go. Okay. So F, and that probably is F prime. And then I have to see how I label the other frequency. And here I have to see, let's see, the this one here should be FO for the observer. And then I'm not sure if I need that prime there. Actually, the book doesn't do that. Take it away. Okay, and then of course she is the source. And then the equation that we should use is source moving away from stationary observer. Nope. Source moving toward stationary observer. So that equation would be FO equals FS times 1 over 1 minus VS over V. Um, okay, so the FS here is the frequency of the source, the FO is the frequency of the observer, the VS is the source's velocity, and the V down here, that really tiny V that I wrote, is the speed of sound. Oh, and then I made a mistake. Haha. Uh -huh. Right there. That S shouldn't be there. Whoops. It's written in our book as just the V. Um, my mistake is actually, even though it's just an index, but it is, a, it is important because I was about to, as I wrote that S here as an index, that is not to be confused with the S for the source. So I better leave it off there. VS is the velocity of the source, FS is the frequency of the source, V is the speed of sound. Okay, the, what they want us to figure out is FO, of course, so right here. Okay, but the thing is, we don't know how fast she is falling at this point either. Notice it's nowhere given, nor is it implied or anything. However, what it does tell us is that She's in free fall, and at this point she has fallen 11 meters. And again, the problem has a star in it, which means we're likely to have to go back all the way to 
figure to figure out an equation that um, allows us to determine her speed. So we go all the way back, and one of those equations, as she is free falling from rest, one of those equations from way back is v squared equals v o squared plus 2a times x or y in this case and what I should write here is vs because that's her final speed or at that point at negative 11 meter that's the kind of speed she's got so we have vs squared here the vo squared of course is 0 because she starts from rest and then 2 times and then this one of course is the negative 11 meters and this one here is a negative 9.8 meters per second squared or 9.80 meters per second squared and as I said because she falls from rest this is 0 meters per second so now substituting that in it's gonna come out to FS times 1 divided by and now it gets interesting if I'm able actually able to squeeze this on in here so here's the V the speed of sound and what I have now here is 2 times negative 9.80 I'm gonna leave the units out times negative 11 because otherwise I don't think I'm gonna be able to squeeze this in here and then of course the square root here Wow to write this as just in equa one equation is quite a thing. Um, it's all gonna be standard units, base units, which means this comes out with its standard unit as well, which for the frequency of the observer, of course, has to be hertz. Um, notice that this one is negative, this one is negative, so the squared is taken off a positive number. And of course, you can see the algebra between this one and this one. Here is the 343 meters per second. Make sure you plug it in correctly on the um, calculator. If you do it all in one big thing here, I would put parentheses around a, or you definitely have to put parentheses around a denominator. And yeah, of course, this one here is the 589 hertz. And then overall, because you do, you're subtracting from one here, your denominator is smaller than one therefore your overall fraction is larger than one and therefore the observer's frequency that the observer notices is larger than the source's frequency which makes sense once you read through the Doppler effect that when the source is approaching the frequency goes up